Whammy. Hey, today on the show, we are talking all about pursuing balance before progress and how that will actually give you better progress in your music career. Stay tuned. We love playing music, but it seems like the odds of making a living as a professional musician are about as high as winning the lottery. So the big question is this, how do musicians like us with jobs, families, and responsibilities get from where we are today to making a practical living playing music we love? Well, my name is Daniel Hathaway, and this show will give you the answers. This is The Practical Pro Musician. Well, it's me, your boy. <laughs> it's Daniel. How you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, funny thing about it's me, your boy. Uh, we've we've taught my uh, my seven year old son taught. I don't know if that's the right word. Somehow we've reinforced the idea that every morning when he wakes up, normally I'm awake well before he is. So I'll be downstairs in my office doing something working, and from about halfway up the stairs, I'll just hear him say, "It's me, your boy," and. Uh, I get a kick out of it. I'm sure at some point I won't anymore, but um, for now, it's funny. And so I thought I'd, I'd honor him today with the beginning of the podcast. How are you? Welcome to the Practical Pro Musician. My name is Daniel Hadaway. I'm so happy that you're here with me. Um, and today, um, I, this is something that I think that you might, if you've listened to this podcast in its previous iteration, aka Drummer Daily, you might have heard this before. Um, but many of you I know are new and welcome if you are new. Welcome if you're not new. Thanks for being here either way. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about something. This is a concept that uh, I've always kind of, it's kind of been my thing. Um, but the difference is I, I, I recently had a little bit of clarity. It kind of struck me like a lightning bolt yesterday, actually. Um, a, a better way of explaining this um, that hopefully will help you out in your pursuit of a music career. Um, and so there's this thing that I kind of came up with a while ago. Uh, it's, and I called it the pro musicians quadrant, which sounds really nerdy. Um, and it may not be the best name for it. There's a lot of this stuff I'm going to share with you. I don't have a good name for it yet. So if you think of one, shoot me an email, Daniel at danielhadaway.com and I'll be happy to to figure out if I can use it. Uh, but there don't have names for this stuff that's really intuitive yet. That's So I got to work on that. But anyway, it, it, it's been called the Pro Musicians Quadrant. And what that is, is it's really just four different areas of you as a musician, me as a musician, things that if we want to be a professional, we have to make sure that we are addressing and that we're making progress on. And Previously, I explained it just like that. I said, you got to make progress on all these. You got to make sure you're addressing all of these things and making progress on all of these things. Um, and the, the four areas are um, your playing. So how you play your instrument, being good enough on the instrument, playing the right things on your instrument, um, uh, your relationships. So, uh, you know, networking, that kind of thing, who you know, all that stuff. Uh, your, um, what is it? Your sound. So the, the tone of your instrument, making sure that you have a good sounding instrument or able to make your instrument sound good, whether it's a guitar or a drum or, a, uh, you know, your voice, uh, the actual sound, um, that you're, that you're, the quality you're able to put out. And that includes like, uh, you know, if you're putting up Instagram videos or things like that, being able to mix those things in a way that is pleasing and, and gives off, gives off a professional, um, you know, quality. And then lastly, your money. So uh, that's the thing that we don't talk about a lot, but we should. Uh, and that is how you're handling all of your finances, earning money from playing music, um, earning more from playing music, how to figure out how to charge what you're charging, even managing your money um, and handling what you are getting paid um, and how to work all of that. Um, and so all those areas are things that we all should be addressing and taking care of in our pursuit of a music career. And that's about as far as normally I explained it. But what I realized, uh, and like I said, this was actually yesterday, I think that this hit me, is that just kind of chipping away at each of those things um, is not enough. And there's a couple of things we got to think about. Number one is um, uh, figuring out what exactly you need to do to make progress. Um, and that's something that we're going to be talking about a lot um, in this show 
um, as we move forward through the weeks. Um, and there's some other, other tools I'm putting together to help you figure that out. Uh, uh, and along those lines as well, not just knowing what you need to do, but before you even know what you need to do, you need to know where you're at, um, in each of those areas and in, in an objective way, it's not, not, not a way that you say, Oh, well, I think I might, uh, uh not saying, Oh, I don't know anybody in the music business. Um, so, uh, and now my job is to know someone in the music business. It's not quite so vague as that. It's much more specific. And it's, and I basically, I'm trying to put together a tool, um, to help you figure out exactly where in, in my opinion, where you're at, which then will inform exactly what you can do to move forward and make progress and, and get your first paying gig. If that's what you're after or get more paying gigs, if you're already getting some or whatever that is. Um, but you got to know where you're at first. So, uh, I'm working on putting together a tool that will help you figure out where you're at and then also provide advice on where to go next to keep making progress. But that's not quite ready yet because it's a one man show over here in Daniel Hadaway world. Uh, and so, um, that, that, that's coming at some point down the road. Um, but the other piece of this, like I said, is you got to pursue each of those four items, your playing, your relationships, your sound and your money, um, and, uh, and making sure you're making progress in each of those. But the piece that I think has been missing from this and, and what I want to talk about today is, uh, the appropriate balance of those items. Uh, so what do I mean by balance? Well, what I mean is these, um, these different areas, uh, you can be really far ahead in one of them, uh, much further along this path. If you think about, if you, uh, in your mind, uh, don't close your eyes if you're driving, but if you're not driving, close your eyes, uh, and imagine a, a, like a Mario, super Mario brothers game, old, you know, side scrolling 2d flat piece of paper type game. And you want to go from the left to the right. You want to get to that flag at the end of the level. Um, but imagine that, um, that instead of, um, uh, of, of the character Mario, you are a, a very tall, uh, lanky stick figure. In other words, you, you look a lot like me. <laughs> um, but imagine that you're, you're a very tall, lanky stick figure and you've got, um, long legs, you've got a long torso, you've got a head, you've got long arms. Um, and each of these four areas, um, would count as like one segment building up from the bottom. So, um, and I haven't really figured out which one's which yet, but let's just say like your playing is like your legs and then your torso is your money or whatever. Um, and you can kind of go up from there. But if one part of that stick figure, and we're talking about realistic physics here, uh, not video game physics. If one part of your character, let's say your legs, makes it really far along down that path, but the rest of you is stuck back at the beginning of the level, if we're talking about a, a realistically behaving stick figure, if that happens, what's going to happen? Well, your legs are out in front, the rest of your body's behind you, you're going to fall flat on your back. Um, and if um, let's say your torso somehow makes it further along the path, but your feet and your head are stuck early on in the progress. You're going to maybe fold in half or something. It's going to be really uncomfortable and painful if nothing else. Um, and then, you know, you can think about all the different variations of that and how that can cause you to be off balance. And so that's what I want to talk about is you've got to make sure that before you make any more progress, um, that every other part of your pursuit of a music career they're all kind of brought up to speed, or even in some cases, you might need to dial back the places in your career, these aspects of your career, um, whether it's your, your playing or your relationships or whatever it is, dial some of those back or your, your pursuit of some of those back, not completely, but some to let the other pieces catch up. And an example of this would be, would be this. So let's say that, uh, that you are really great at, networking or you have lots of relationships with other musicians, you know, a lot of people, um, and, and, and that's a great, well, that is great, but let's say that your playing is not where it should be, whether you're, you're a bit of a show off, you're not very tasteful in how you play, or you maybe just don't know, uh, as much material. You're not as competent on your instrument as you should be. Well, in that scenario, if you know a lot of musicians really well and your playing is not where it should be, 
knowing all those musicians and having that, those relationships could actually be harmful to you because they probably know you just like you know them. Um, if they don't know you like you know them, then that's not a relationship. That's like being something like a stalker or something that's unhealthy. Um, so, um, but if, if you know each other, like you, like you probably do, then that means they know that your playing is not where it's at. And they are, would, would actively think about that when they think, man, I could give so-and-so a gig, but I know their playing's not up to, to where it needs to be. Um, and so they would actively not consider you because they know where your playing's at. You're, you're off balance. Um, or let's say that you are, um, you are a really great player and you know the right people, but you're also really desperate for money. And when you are desperate for money and you feel desperate for money, I don't care who you are, you're going to act in a way that most of the time is not very appealing to other people. Um, and it can cause you to do things that probably aren't beneficial to you and your music career. So you would need to get that money part addressed before you keep going with the other pieces. So where all four of these things are important, you're playing your, your relationships, your sound and your money. You need to make sure that before you really start making a concerted effort in any of them, that, that you are balanced, that that stick figure, that one part is not too far ahead of the others and you end up falling over. So that's what I want you to look at. And it, it and for now, until I get this tool all put together, um, what you should do is just write down these four words on a piece of paper. I'm old school, so I still use paper. You can type them out, I guess, too, if you want to. But write down playing, relationships, money, and sound, in whatever order you want. But for now, maybe just write one or two sentences about where you're at with each of those in your music career. And look at those and say, in, 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 if you write those down, I bet for 98% of us listening, that just writing those down and looking at those sentences, it will become obvious fairly quickly where the, the missing pieces are, or where you're lacking, what, what is further ahead than others, where that lack of balance might be. And the, the places that you're not up to speed on, it's not just about accelerating your progress in those areas, but the reality is being a real person, and this is the practical pro musician in this show, you probably have a job or other responsibilities. You don't have uh, you know, 12 hours a day to dedicate to your music career, most likely. And so you have to choose to dial back other things in order to pursue the one thing you need to make progress on. So this little exercise, writing those things down and reading that, just looking at those sentences will give you a clear indication of at least where you need to start, um, where, where the pieces are, what are the things you're really far ahead in and you need to, you can dial those back. And then what are the pieces that you aren't quite so far ahead on yet? And you can, put some of your energy and effort into those. Um, and then once you kind of get everything in alignment and balance, that stick figure is standing fairly upright, then you can start making progress with all of it equally. Um, and you know, anyone who's kind of leaning off balance, um, if you've ever seen like those like ridiculousness videos, or I don't know if America's funniest videos shows, uh, drunk people, but like you've seen videos of like drunk people who are, do have no business well, no business probably being that drunk anyway, but who can't stand upright. They're off balance and one little tap from somebody else. or they run into a, you know, a street light or something there and they're flat on their back. You don't want to be that person, metaphorically speaking, walking through your music career. You need to stay balanced so that if something comes along and, and unexpected hits you or taps you, um, it doesn't knock you flat on your back. You can regain your balance quickly and then keep moving forward. Not to mention that that kind of person moving through their music career is much more attractive to the people who are looking to hire musicians. So today, I just want you to look at where you're at with all these items and start to pursue balance. Before you pursue progress, pursue balance. And that will work out for you, I think, really, really well. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today on the Practical Pro Musician. As always, um, this the site is not quite ready as I'm recording this, but it will be very soon. I'm almost done with it. 
promusician.org. That's where you'll find all past episodes of this show, as well as show notes for this show, if there are any to read, um, and also other stuff that you might be interested in as a musician pursuing a career as a professional musician. So my name is Daniel Hideaway. Thanks so much for joining me, and we will talk again very soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.